Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this tutorial by me, Devin Arasoy. And in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to disable the Windows Defender. Now, I'm sure that some people, those of you watching, may have come to a problem when you are opening a program in your computer or you try to run a program and it doesn't work because Windows Defender has blocked some sort of program from running in which that program is actually not a virus and you actually want to run it but you can't because of Windows Defender well it's really easy to remove Windows Defender first you go to Windows the Windows key and then you just search Defender uh, and then you click on Windows Defender settings there it is this will lead you to open Windows Defender Security Center you just click on that there you go. It says your device is being protected. This snarky little Windows Defender thing is blocking all your programs. First, you go to Virus and Threat Protection. Click on that. And then you see down here, it says Virus and Threat Protection Settings. In order to uh, close that, you click on it. And then it says Real-Time Protection. Boom. You turn it off. You click Yes. And there we go. And also make sure to turn off all these other uh, things as well and okay that one's done now alright this virus and threat protection is finito next one firewall and network protection the firewall also may cause a problem firewall is basically it it's basically the same thing as virus and threat it stops uh, fishy websites uh, not websites but that's for app and browser control but it stops fishy uh, applications from running. If you want to close this, you just click on it. And there are three levels. There's the domain, private, and public. Uh, all of these have like different levels of security, like public, it, which is the one that's active. You can close public if you want public because it's normally you're gonna you're going to be on a public network. But if you want to close all of them, again, you just click and then you one by one close each network so that you may uh, get rid of the firewall so there we go we go to the public network again turn all of those off all right so now all of them are off so basically you're basically finished right now you don't need to work uh, worry about device performance and health that's just uh, checks for issues and stuff and the app and browser control control is only if you're using edge the edge browser and you can turn each one of these off as well by just changing from worn to off and off and off it's pretty self-explanatory you just click on all of those under turn off now you may have one more issue and that issue is in the sidebar here you may get a lot of notifications saying oh your device is not being protected make sure to turn the virus and threat protection back on a lot of annoying notifications around here which really really mess up uh, the Windows experience so to turn those off again you click on the Windows key you search notifications boom there it is notifications and action settings click on that there's going to be a lot of options for notifications here what you need is to scroll down and all of these apps right here here you see this one is very important security and maintenance this notification settings will be on and see it says banners and sound you want to turn that right off boom it's off now now you won't get any security and maintenance notification settings and you'll be able to install any program you want without Windows monitoring it and blocking it so thank you very much for watching beep